My name is Laura. I'm 31 years old. I'm from Portugal and I'm doing EVS for one year in Georgia and I'm here for eight months. In Portugal, nobody knows anything about Georgia. Everybody thinks that is in the United States. So I came to figure out what these Caucasus have to offer to us. And I didn't have any stereotypes at all. I didn't know anything about Georgia and I'm always ready for adventures. I got the, the, the Mashrutka experience. I have to say I love the Mashrutka, um, the Mashrutka system. It's very cheap. You stop everywhere you want to go and the, com the transportation system in Georgia is marvelous. Uh, more. What I like more. Uh, as volunteers we hitchhike a lot. We have not too much money and you are very very nice to foreigners. We don't have to wait more than five minutes to get a car and takes to our destination and very crazy stuff happened to us during the hitchhiking. For example in Imereti region they are very very nice to us People grab us from the streets, they don't speak our language at all. And they take us to their home, they give us beer, they give us wine, they prepare a super table for us, they don't communicate with us, they don't understand us, but they start to call the neighbors to come and speak with us. And then in the end they give us bed and they give us breakfast and they don't know us from anywhere. And uh, I have a lot, of this uh, a lot of these stories in Georgia. Uh, that I could not communicate with people, but even they open the house for us, they give us food, they find a way to speak with us, they didn't know us at all, and that doesn't happen in anywhere in the world. There's a lot of cultures that are quite nice with foreigners, but I never saw nothing like this in Georgia. It's amazing, amazing culture. Um, more things. I remember when I came, uh, I didn't speak uh, Georgian and Russian at all. Uh, and people here doesn't speak too much English. Uh, and I remember when I was going to the supermarket for the first time, I had no idea what I was buying. Uh, in Portugal, in the products, we have the, the expiration date on the products. Here you have the production date. So I didn't know it and I thought everything was out of uh, was not good to to be eat like everything didn't have validity anymore so it was quite crazy for me you love wine we love wine also uh, you drink you eat a lot of bread uh, we eat a lot of bread also we are late but you are very very late uh, and I think we are quite happy persons in Portugal and uh, we open our houses and you are also very happy persons and you are always opening your houses to us. Um, one thing that for me was quite strange is that you speak a lot, you speak loud, but I think also that happens when we are speaking with our nationals. But I noticed that when you are having a conversation, you are speaking at the same time one to each other. And it's crazy because it looks like you understand each other. How it's possible you are speaking at the same time and you still understand each other. I heard in, here in Georgia that you say that uh, when God was giving the land to people, Georgians were drinking and you were not in a line. So when you went to God, that uh, God already gave the land to everybody and he has not, nothing for you. So you say that you were drinking to God, that's why you are not in line. So God give you the part he, re, he was uh, reservating for him. Uh, this is quite nice from you to say it and is really touchable, but I have to tell you that if I was God, I would be very pissed with you because you are not taking care of this land. There's a lot of trash everywhere. Uh, you have this, um, this traditional to make wishes on the trees and put plastic bags around the trees. This for me, it's very, very bad what you are doing to the trees. I think you can do it with papers and still making the, the, the wishes, but not with plastic because it takes ages to disappear. And you are drinking a bottle of uh, water or Coca-Cola or, or beer and instead you put in the garbage bin, you throw it away in the nature. So since when I was traveling here in Georgia, I thought I saw very marvelous places with beautiful landscape and waterfalls and you have beautiful mountains but then it was full of trash i think if god gives you the the part he was reservating for him you should take a little bit 
more care uh, with it. I've been traveling Georgia and I also went to some uh, countries around in Caucasus, Armenian, Azerbaijan and it's quite crazy for me in Caucasus culture. You don't respect the line. You don't know what is a line. You are putting always in front of people and you are glue to us. It's quite crazy for us. Start to respect the line, please, because I don't want to feel you on me. <laughs> and it's very shocking for, for us because you are glued to our body. We can feel all your body on, on us. So don't do it. Start to respect the line, especially in train station. It's, it's terrible to buy tickets there. It's a huge confusion and people are skipping the line all the time and everybody's like on top of each other on the line. Don't do it. <laughs> Respect people's space. <laughs> you have a huge heart, especially to foreigners. I hope you never lose this. Uh, I hope you never became so European robots like we are became, become. Uh, you keep true in your heart because I never was so good welcome in my life like I was here in Georgia and I don't have common language with you I don't have common style with you but you open your house to us uh, you invite us you give us food you give us bed you give us a huge smile and you don't in, you not even know us or understand us and this is marvelous this doesn't happen anywhere in the world this is a huge very good characteristic for you and I really hope that God help you to never lose this, uh, this uh, main characteristic for you because it's what makes you really unique. To Portuguese people, first I advise to go to a map and discover that Georgia is not in the United States, it's in Caucasus. Uh, especially if you like uh, mountains and hiking, this is the perfect place to come. It's very easy to come, there's no visa required. I know that the flights are quite long and quite expensive, but it's a huge adventure. And here you can have the four uh, seasons of the weather in just one country. And you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, uh, you can go to the city, you can go to the village. And believe me, uh, they really like wine. And in Portugal, we also like wine. It's a different, they also have a different way to make wine than us. And it worth it to come. Isao Pre, Sakart Velocé, speak up about Georgia. <laughs>